The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native Food. Thank you so much. DigiKey, every single week, Lady Ada uses our power of engineering, smarts, and others' focus to show you how to find stuff on DigiKey. And this is a series that we started way before the ship shortage. So if you watch this from beginning to end, you'll probably be able to find that thing you're looking for because everything is hard to find now. It's true. We're not doing a chip shortage ship today, but we're yeah. using something that isn't a chip shortage. Although I'll show this this trends thing. Uh, so let's go to the overhead, and I'll show what I've been hacking on. So I've been making some more boards, and uh, two of the boards that I designed and I sent off before the holiday break and just got back are these um, real time clock breakout boards. So these are Stemic QT boards with uh, that are my two favorite um, RTCs. This is the PCF eighty five twenty three. And this is the DS3231. This is a temperature compensated and more expensive RTC. This is a uh, three or five volt, uh, non-compensated, but still pretty good quality, you know, easy to use, inexpensive, um, just to pop on a 32 kilohertz crystal and you're good to go. This one has the crystal built in. And um, for real time clocks, you really want to have a battery for battery backup. Uh, the whole point of the RTC is that it has a battery backup and keeps track of time even when um, the rest of your system is depowered. So they usually have a separate uh, coin cell battery. So let's look at that. So um, nice little coin cell battery. So, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it. There are, uh, you know, pick and placeable, um, non-rechargeable batteries, primary cells, but I do like these CR1220s. I find these to be great little coin cells. They're extremely common. Uh, you can get them kind of anywhere. Um, they're three volts, so you know they're they're perfect for real time clock. Real time clocks like running off of these, um, but again, they're available and they last like seven years. But if they do get damaged, you can replace them, unlike the ones that are sold onto the PCB. So I do, you know, I do kind of like um, having these, uh, you know, removable, replaceable coin cell batteries. This is a lithium cell. And you can see barely on there, it's a CR1220. So that means it's 12 meter, millimeters diameter and two millimeters thick. Watch out, there's also 1216, 1 1.6 millimeters thick, or like maybe even 1212, 1 1.2. Um, very thin, but they might slip out of the uh, coin cell holder, just make sure. Um, so you, you pop it in the back like this. You see there's a plus symbol here, plus symbol here. You match it up, you push it in. And uh, I kind of like this style and design, and you can always kind of get in here and pull out the battery with your fingernail as well. Um, there's also these kinds of coin cell holders. These are the kind of the two that I see the most. Like there's, a, there's more, but there's the from the side ones and there's from the top ones. From the top ones, um, the battery kind of snaps in like this. Which one to use? Well, I'll tell you, if, if I have side access, I kind of prefer these. It's just my personal preference. Um, these are a little bit thicker, they're a little bit bigger, um, but they're not too hard to use to remove the battery. You just kind of push open and, and the, the coin cell pops up. But for some reason, I sort of prefer these. I think they're a little bit more secure, although these are also very secure. But these are they're two options. So let's show um, on the great search how to find these two coin cell holders. Uh, but first up, I want to show you, this is from um, Jepler pointed this out. This is like, DigiKey has a lot of hidden gems. This is a hidden gem, lead time trends. Um, and this is very handy for you to know when are you likely to get some chips? So here's uh, some, well, pardon me, I went down too fast. Some, some things. So one thing you'll notice, uh, I've noticed this as well, uh, crystals, you know, timing crystals. Uh, the lead times are up to 42 weeks from Epson, 24 weeks from Abercon and ECS. NDK, if they got them, they're three weeks, so buy from them. Um, ceramic capacitors, you know, also 24 week lead time. Still, it's a little intense, but still, you know, they're, they're available in the market, although I'm seeing, you know, crystals be difficult to get. Um, inductors, you know, not too bad, 16 weeks. Um, ribbon contacts, not too bad, you know, 10 weeks for, for Molex and Amphenol. Um, you know, some of these are a little bit longer, JSD. JSD always has sort of long lead times. Um, 
you know, hard work connects. Phoenix has only seven weeks, Harding 4.3. So not too bad here, but you're, what you're going to see, the um, TE seems like as a, as a company is having some long lead times. If, if they ever appear, they're always longer, like headers are. Their headers are, are 24 week lead time. Um, but what you'll notice is where it gets really a little bonkers is chips down here, semiconductors. Op amps aren't too bad, you know, 20 week lead time, but switching regulators, so MPS, a common uh, regulator company, uh, 50 weeks. Microcontroller ARM Cortex, STMs, 45 weeks. NXPs, 51 weeks. Microchips, 41 weeks. TI, 20 weeks. I think that's. That's a little, it depends though, right? Because TI doesn't make that many Cortex chips. I think they make mostly MSP430s. And then Xilinx, um, you know, 52 weeks. So you're going to see really long uh, lead time still for semiconductors. This is good to, to test. Also, they have um, by company. So, you know, common uh, companies, so if you look at, you know, micro chip, you can look at their um, 8 bit micros, 40 weeks. ARMs again 41 weeks, EPROMs 40 weeks, 32 bits 40 weeks, FPGAs 20 weeks. So, yeah, you want FPGAs good to go. Looks like TI actually is not too bad, 14 to 20 weeks. Analog device is also not too bad. Um, ST, you know, everyone knows that the ST microcontrollers right now are just impossible to get. So, um, it doesn't look like it's going to get much better for the next 30, 40 weeks. So, hopefully, find some alternatives or maybe you've got some stock. Um, okay, so but back to coin cell holders. So look, let's look at coin cell holder because that's what we're we're here for. Um, so you can get uh, you know you can get batteries um, as well. Even though this says I search for holders, don't forget you can also get your batteries here. Although note you can't ship them air; you ship ground. So just be aware of that. Oh, the Dursel has a little like happy family here. Going. Yay! Yeah, okay. Yay, I'm taller than you. You can't have this battery. I know. What's going it's on? It's teasing the person, it looks like. It's a little mean. Um, yeah. All sorts of batteries. But uh, let's go back to... But again, what I like about the CR1220 is you can actually get them at a grocery store. They're, they're that common. All right, so clips and contacts. Um, all right, so the first thing you'll want to do is, of course, let's only get active ones. And uh, we're going to look for the ones for our CR1220. And don't forget the 12 is the 12 millimeters diameter. So let's look for um, 12 mi millimeter diameter coin holders, which is battery cell size. You can see that. Okay, let me scroll down. Um, 10, 11.6, 12, 12.5. I'm going to grab 11.6, 12, and 12.5. You know, I don't ever see a 12.5 millimeter battery, but you know, you never know. Maybe the holder can can have both types. All right, so we only have about uh, 65 options left, and you can see, you know, we're starting to see some of the ones. This this is a through hole one, and this is again that surface mount one. One thing I've noticed about coin cell holders is like they're kind of jelly bean. If you like this style, again, the top press in style, um, you can get them from like 10 different fabrication companies. Um, let's go for the surface mount because we want it to be pick and placeable. And then um, you can uh, select different companies. There's a uh, battery series. Again, there is a little bit of a difference between there's the 1216s, 1220, and 1225. That's the thickness. It may affect your holder, so just be aware. They're not necessarily... I have been bit by... I got a holder and it was for 1225. I tried to put a 1216 and it just like slid right out. So just be aware of that. Um, okay, so there's a couple different kinds again. Uh, there's this uh, snap top kind. A couple different companies make them. They're very common. Um, there's also uh, this kind, which is also a sort of snap top type. Um, and this one, which is like really big, it's look a little bit like a spaceship. But I rather like the, um, I really do like these bent metal ones. Um, Lynx and MPD both make ones with uh, smaller tabs. But I really like the chunky tabs. Um, oh, also you can get ones with little holders. You're probably wondering why would you ever want that little plastic piece. If you want to hold two batteries in, you can't have metal that will contact the outside because it'll short the middle battery together. So you have to have something protecting it. 
um, if you think about it, you know, the outer ring is a pole, right? It's not like a double A battery where like you have it on the ends and so you can have the batteries next to each other and not gonna short. With these, if you have a bunch of batteries stacked up and the metal is against the side, it'll short the batteries together. So you, you would need that plastic piece if you had um, multiple batteries. And then there's some simple ones. These, I don't like these as much. These are a little bit too simple because there's no mechanical you know, thing holding them together. Again, I like these because they've got that stop. You know, the battery can't push too far back. Um, so let's look at ones that are in stock and let's sort by price. And um, it's my favorite, the Atom Tech. So this is the one I like. This is the one you saw on the overhead. Um, they, again, these come in 20 millimeter size and like maybe 24 millimeter. They come in various sizes, but for real time clocks, uh, I really like these. I can't beat the price. Like a 10 cents for a battery holder and super easy to solder, super easy to pick in place. And they're, they're really near indestructible. I've never seen them break, you know, unless they get completely smashed. Uh, they'll hold your battery in place for a very long time and, and it's very hard for the battery to shake loose. So this is my pick for the great search, coin cell battery holders. And that's a great search. Where is